Hello everybody, this is Amir. This is Shadi here. We are uh, calling you from Iran, Tehran. You would like to know that uh, technically how are you going to detect something which cannot be seen or being detected because we're just feeling the influences. Thank you for your time. Hello, I'm Shadi. Thank you for the question. That was quite good. And I will reply with a very general uh, answer that there are many ways to look for the signs of this uh, invisible particles but most of them take advantage of the fact that the influence of this particle on ordinary matter creates some effect and the, in the detectors we are actually looking for that effect thanks <laughs> uh, i am harshoza from india i am in 8th grade and my question about the dark matter detector is that uh, how are you still motivated uh, to put particle detectors dark matter detectors uh, in space hi harsh indeed some theories predict that dark matter doesn't interact with standard model at all but there are a lot of those who in fact say that dark matter will have some interactions with the standard model so we want to test those theories which predict interactions between dark matter and the standard model particles and want to find out if these theories are true and if they are what is the true strength of this interaction and that's what motivates us, motivates us to put detectors in space hi there my name is jason joel felix i'm from india tamil nadu i'm an electrical and electronic engineer my question is what happens when a dark matter mixes with human blood Hi Jason, this is Marco. I'm a dark matter theorist working in Paris and at CERN. So I'd say that dark matter doesn't mix with uh, the human body, but dark matter particles exist everywhere in the galaxy and they fly around at a normal speed, passing through everything, including the Earth and therefore also our own bodies. So our current computations uh, tell us that, say, in a volume such as the one of my head, there are about uh, 50 particles of dark matter for some specific candidate at any given moment in time. But the point is that they interact so weakly with the ordinary matter of which our body is made that they essentially leave no impact. And that's why it's very difficult to detect that matter. Hi, I am Hiba from Karachi, Pakistan. And my question is that is it possible that the pull of gravity that we associate with dark matter is actually the pull of gravity of the other universes if multiverse is real? Thank you. Hi Hiba, this is Joachim from CERN. So regarding your question, um, the problem is that if there is a multiverse, then it would be very, very difficult or even impossible to observe anything about these extra universes. And certainly their observational consequences would be much, much weaker than what we observe in the universe as dark matter. So unfortunately, the multiverse uh, cannot be the explanation for that. But it was a very interesting question, and I thank you for participating in our dark matter day activities.